Race number four is the first leg of the Triple Trio. It's also the feature race at Chartin on Wednesday night. It's the Victoria Racing Club Trophy. It's a Class 2 contest over the 1650, headed by Packing Dragon. Barrier 7 for him. He returns to your weather. Return to action for Classic Ember. Haven't seen him since uh, the trip to Dubai. Perpetual Joints goes up in trip. You've got Beauty Prince, a last start, course and distance. Win a calculation, course and distance. Win a three starts back from the front. Uh, Divine Boy's been off the track since January. And Blocker D takes a step up in trip as well. Dr. Winwin has been withdrawn. We've made our way to the touch screen to have a look at the speed map for this one, Brett, because there is actually, even with the small field, there's a bit of pace. Um, both um, Beauty Prince and Calculation uh, made the running for, uh, for their wins on their, uh, well, Calculation was three starts back for him. Exactly. And Blocker D is more noted as a sprinter, isn't he? And he's going to step up to the longer <laughs> trip. So that's a question mark. Uh, with him, can he sustain that run for that journey? But he's got pace and maybe potentially might kick through, but calculation was super impressive, wasn't he, on the all-weather? We know Packing Dragon's a horse that likes to lead too. Generally, most of his racing has been done at the Valley, and you spoke about Beauty Prince potentially also wanting to get up near the lead. He drew barrier two last start. He was able to kick through, but he might be forced to roll forward. So could be a little bit of cat and mouse in the early stages, but... Yeah, I think Calculation probably deserves to start favourite off that win a couple of starts ago. It certainly does. The runs since have been good as well, Paul. But uh, the return of Classic Emperor is certainly interesting too. It is interesting you know, as he's come back from uh, overseas. Uh, I haven't shown his track record here because it hasn't been as good as I thought uh, before he left. But here's Fight Hero. Uh, he, he goes nicely and he's had a, a good season. He's already a winner. And uh, catches the eye, hit the line really strongly behind pick number one last start. And he steps up and trip. Here is Calculation, as Brett mentioned. He's going really nicely at the moment, so it's a, a really good win from him three starts ago over the course and distance, and you can see he's doing it nice and easy here when he comes down, and Divine Boy comes in on the back of a freshen up, another one that travels nicely, he's the one closest to us. New horse here in Hong Kong is Mongolian legend, uh, Divine Boy, he's a lot more forward in condition and moves well. All right, and uh, with this being an even number race, it's a uh, quartet first four merge jackpot. Also first leg of the TT as well. So uh, 1.9 going into an estimated return in the region of $4 million for the Triple Trio on Wednesday night. Let's uh, kick things off with Packing Dragon. Get some thoughts from Jockey, Chad Schofield. Chad, you ride Packing Dragon on Wednesday night. You've got a good record on this horse. You must be looking forward to jumping back on. Yeah, I am. He's a lovely horse to ride. He, he jumps well. He puts himself up on the speed and he's tough. Um, I've won a, a few races on him now, so it's good to get back on him um, on the dirt. Um, I haven't ridden him, race ridden him on the dirt before, but I have trialled him on the surface. And he did trial well that morning. He's, he's only had three or so runs on, on, on the dirt, so um, I think he's had a placing too. So. Um, I think he'll run well. Um, there looks a lot of speed in the race, but he's got some himself, so um, we'll jump him out and see where we can, where, where we're happy to be. 16.50, a reasonable trip for him, or would you prefer him ideally over a bit further? Oh, obviously, he's won a handful of races over 16.50 and 18. Um, he gets fur even further as well. He's a big galloping horse. He, he sits up on the speed and he can hold, he can hold his top speed for quite a way. So. Um, Real momentum horse, and you know the dirt's a momentum track, so and hopefully they click together. And in that sense, then, if there is a lot of speed, does he have the versatility to sit behind them and still come over the top of them? Yeah, he does, and you know it's normally a, a bit of a rush to the winning post on the first lap, and he doesn't. Although he races up on the speed, he takes um, a number of strides to get into get into stride because he's so big. But <clears throat> we'll just see where he's happy to be and, and run him from there. Yeah, he's drawn uh, widish there, Packing Dragon. There seems to be plenty of speed uh, on the table, including possibly from Beauty Prince. Let's look at him, because he's out in front here. Fight Hero closes off, but it was Beauty Prince's day. Yeah, he stole this race, didn't he, old Zach Purden? He got to the front, he just absolutely dictated and won nicely. He had everything go his way. He's going to find it a bit trickier from barrier number eight. Uh, and I thought Fight Hero ran a really good race um, accordingly, because they did walk in the early stages and he hit the line strongly. Yeah, the key will be whether or not Zach can either one, fire him out, get him across to the rail again, or two, fire him out and get him in with a little bit of cover. But I tend to think he's most effective from what I've seen when he can lead like that. Um, just keep him moving. But I've got him in the tips, but I'd tip against him to win. All right. So calculation, another winner. Having a look at this run, three starts back, course and distance. His two runs since, actually in defeat, have um, been with a lot of credit, though, as well. Oh, that's right. Actually, the, this win's impressive, but the, the runner-up placings and his next two have mm. probably been more impressive. One of them behind What Else But You, who was enormous again on Sunday, and the other one behind pick number one, who's unbeaten on the surface. Um, and, of course, uh, they were at a shorter trip 
as opposed to the win we're looking at here. Uh, clearly the horse to beat, I would have thought. Yeah, it looks that way. He's come up short and uh, he looks the one. Yeah, whatever beats him will win. Yep. All right. He is odds on at this stage. Classic Emperor. So Dubai didn't quite go to plan. Uh, this is the trial. I actually saw this earlier on in the show with um, Roger Snow. It's a different one here, but uh, Classic Emperor. Uh, what have we seen so far? Well, Paul, you didn't show any track work because you haven't been overly impressed, but no. he's pushed on here. Any horse that does travel, as we know, obviously there's those question marks over them, but um, look, I'm going to put him in on class alone. He's unbeaten course and distance and obviously has a very good record in the class. He's drawn well, so he, he goes in the tips, but I won't tip him to win. Yeah, I, look, I, I like the horses, you know, but I'm going to leave him out in this occasion. I'd like to see him um, improve a little bit of what I've seen so far. All right, OK. Divine Boy off the track since January with uh, issues. How's he been looking? Yeah, he bled uh, last start, so um, that's unfortunate for connections, but we know he's a quality horse. Uh, he's won three at the Valley. He's won, had one win on the all-weather, but a few placings. The trial, I thought, was good. Um, I think that horse alongside of him might be Rise High, who came mm. out and won on the weekend very impressively. Other, some other talented gallopers in there, if you look closely. Um, I wouldn't underestimate him. No, I've got them in the numbers. I think that the, the, with these bleeders, sometimes the best time is to get them yeah. as, as fresh as well. All right, That's OK. True. So he's included for you, Paul? He is included. I've got him in there on a third line. I'm going to put Fight Hero to beat calculation, though. Uh, I think Fight Hero, there will be some pace in this race and he should get the race run to suit. I think he can finish over the top of calculation. He's obviously, as we mentioned earlier, it's going to be very hard to beat. But uh, just, you know... Cal um, we're fight here paying $13 and two twenty a place and calculation at $1.90. I went four to beat the six. As uh, Divine Boy in there for third and Beauty Prince. Still run a good race, but he's going to find this one a bit harder. Four, six, seven and five. Worth taking note of that from Paul because uh, Fight Hero has done him a favour or two in the past. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think calculation is clearly the one to beat. That win three starts ago was enormous. At, uh, it Basically, he emerged from that really, didn't he, as a probably a, a better horse on the all-weather track. Classic Emperor, just on his class alone, but um, he could be jaded from the trip back from Dubai. Divine Boy, Beauty Prince, but uh, I think the six is hard to beat, as Paul said. Whatever beats him will probably win it. Yeah, I'm with you, Brett. Uh, keep it simple in that one. Calculation is odds on, but um, he looks very hard to beat in the feature.